Hello friends. So the following five minute video is from our psychiatry education forums, obsessive compulsive and related disorder update 2021 conference, where Dr. Erica Greenberg gave this one hour lecture on treatment resistant pediatric OCD management. And this video is, I think, less than five minute uh, part from that video. So we use clomipramine in adults for OCD management. How about in kids in pediatric OCD? And this is what Dr. Greenberg will talk about. If you're interested in learning more about the conference, please watch the full video. I will talk about the conference detail in the end. So without wasting any time, let's have Dr. Greenberg talk on this clinically relevant topic now. Um, speaking more about clomipramine, meta-analyses have suggested that clomipramine is more efficacious than SSRIs, though head-to-head -head trials um, have indicated equivalent efficacy. So. Um, uh, something to keep in mind, and given its worst side effect profile, we don't recommend it as a first-line treatment. One could carefully consider clomipramine as a monotherapy after two failed SSRI trials, and it's also possible to carefully use clomipramine as an augmenting agent to an SSRI. As an augmenting agent, often doses between 25 and 75 are used, and um, studies, uh, small studies in, in uh, you know, handful of youth have showed that augmenting with an SS, augmenting an SSRI with clomipramine tends to provide additional benefit without necessarily increasing the side effect burden as much as one would see if using clomipramine as a monotherapy. Uh, as clomipramine is known to prolong QTC, it's important to follow the EKG at baseline whenever combining with another QTC prolonging agent, such as citalopram, and or once um, it's at a more steady therapeutic dose and you want to um, uh, definitely have the QTC less than 500, ideally less than 450. Um, and uh, regarding blood levels, we can track them, but there's little consensus on what's safe and appropriate. Um, uh, and so in general, the guidelines generally suggest remaining below 450 uh, to, to be um, careful. Um, an important pharmacological pearl is that because fluvoxamine is a CYP1A2 inhibitor, it blocks the conversion from clomipramine, which is very serotonergic, to norclomipramine, it's more noradrenergic metabolite, and as such synergistically increases the serotonicity. And so while this can uh, potentially and has been shown to increase effectiveness, uh, one just needs to be very careful. Uh, watching for serotonin syndrome and um, you know the level of clomipramine and additional side effects uh, if that approach is used. It's also noted that there's higher risks of toxicity from clomipramine, um, convulsions, um, coma, cardiac challenges, that's for all of the TCAs uh, when clomipramine is used in doses above 300 daily. So friends, this was a very short video from this lecture given by Dr. Greenberg in our Obsessive Compulsive and Related Disorders Update 2021 conference. And as I mentioned, this is just a five minute video uh, from this one hour presentation done by Dr. Greenberg. And these are the topics that she covered. I will put all the information below if you're interested. But in this conference, we have eight experts in the field of obsessive compulsive and related disorders. And here is their information. If you are interested in uh, enrolling to this conference, please read the details below. But thanks again for listening to this video. I will see you all in our next video discussion. Thank you again and bye for now.